handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Saratoga Race Course here on Friday, it's 19th of July, 2024. Gonna look at the third race from Saratoga, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And also join me tomorrow for my Haskell preview from Monmouth. Also join me tomorrow for my opening day preview from Del Mar. It's excellent racing there with the Oceanside and San Clemente. So hope you join me for that. And also here from Saratoga, you have the coaching club, which is always a good race. So in general, just join me tomorrow for some great action from coast to coast. Let's look at the third race from Saratoga, which is always a good race here. It's, um, you know, a lot of people hate this race because it, it you know, kind of takes away from the Jim Dandy field size. But uh, I always like it, and you can get some prices in this in the race, except this year. But uh, third race from Saratoga, it is the Curlin Stakes, going for $135,000 purse. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of six horses going 1,800 meters or a lap around the main track, which is a mile and eighth in circumference here. Uh, this race is for uh, horses which have not won a graded sweepstakes at a mile or over in 2024 here so just keep that in mind my top selection i'm gonna go with the one horse unmatched wisdom one two four five and the superfecta one two four five super top selection one horse unmatched wisdom three old cold or uh, excuse me three old cold by uh cairo prince here chad brown trains flavian pratt gets the mount the horse's most recent appearance came against older horses in a lounge race at aqueduct mile and eighth on the 22nd of june and the horse won quite easily winning by five and three quarter lengths from a tracking trip he sat a little wide throughout he got to the front and he quickened up nicely and he basically got a hand ride to the wire an all-around easy race stepping up to your in class to uh stakes quality of horse is going a mile and eighth, which shouldn't be a problem. He has some forwardly pace, get good position from the rail out of the gate. I think he could really run a good race to win here today. He ran on debut 20th of May at Aqueduct. Muddy seal going a mile on the main special way for 90,000. He won by six and a quarter lengths, and again, nobody was catching him that day. He stalked, he aimed to the front end, and he got the job done. A very good, strong going away performance with a very impressive 98 buyer on debut kind of digressed a little bit with a 93 but even that 93 can win against these horses back here to six quality horses training well in the train track at belmont i'm gonna give him a massive shot on the ticket i think the two horse corporate powers are second likely this winner a nine hundred twenty-five thousand dollar purchase at the keelan 2022 september sale for shug mcgahee um javier castellano pilots this horse today most recently in the sir barton at pimlico on a mighty harrowed going it was a wrong decision to do harrowing the track before that race but mile 16th there he won by a nose and he stalked he got the lead had to be game to the wire but he got the jobs and going away that day a very good performance with an 87 buyer prior to that an optional 80 at aqueduct going mile nathan slop in april he finished second by one quarter length beyond unique insight who looks like he could be a decent horse he just stalked he's a little bit wide he moved a little bit late but the the winner just had to jump on him but he ran his heart out that day and then a goal street mile nathan the main special way in late february on the dirt he won by neck that day and closing up from the back of the pad batting down looked like he was going to catch him but he really you know get another game performance for this horse when he wins he looks like he pulls himself up but you know javier keeps having to work on him and he gets the job done refreshing here training well seven to two he's a very likely winner also we'll use him in the pick four but to recount my selection for the third from saratoga now it is to curl and stakes going to take the one horse unmatched wisdom give kudos to the two horse corporate power one two four five super one two in the multi-race so good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.